Hey guys, Eastern Block Airsoft here, and today we're going to be going over how to start uh, collecting old militaria and historical airsofting. So we'll start off with Airsoft, let's just, we're going to assume that you already have started to play Airsoft, just because that's a whole nother topic on how to start playing Airsoft. So this is going to be how to start collecting old gear and stuff if you want to play Airsoft with it or just collect it for the sake of collecting. So the first thing you're going to want to do is pick a time period you're interested in. So whether that be all the way back before World War I or World War One, World War Two, Cold War, any time is good as long as you're interested in it. So, when you're interested, it makes it a lot easier to collect and feel like you're actually doing something that you like, rather than just kind of throwing your money away. So the next thing you're going to want to do is pick a region or country, or something that you're interested in. Like me, I picked the Eastern Bloc and during the Cold War, just because that's kind of something I'm interested in. So. That's pretty self-explanatory. You guys probably figured that out by now. So yeah, like I said, I picked the Cold War Eastern Bloc just because that's something I've been interested in for a while and I wanted to take it to the next step. Another thing to think about is this is a, it's an expensive hobby and it's more expensive as you go back in time. So basically, the farther back you go, let's say World War One, is things are gonna be a lot very expensive. You're gonna end up spending like, if you want to complete a whole uniform from, like, World War One, you're probably going to be spending upwards of a thousand dollars. Whereas you come a lot closer to Cold War era time, it's going to be quite a lot cheaper. So, after you've picked your country and you've picked your time, you're going to want to start doing research on their uniforms and their just kind of everything. And, because you don't want to buy something that's incorrect and have, like, uniform that is just kind of thrown together that has pieces from different countries because you'll to other people you'll look kind of like an idiot so yeah once you have those pieces once you've started researching you want to first probably get your first kit and I'd say do yeah once you've done your research start doing research on where is the best place to get your stuff if you're doing World War two there's tons and tons of YouTube channels lots of websites to look for that have good stuff. I'm not a World War II YouTuber, so I'm not the person to go to. There's a lot of other good channels that you should check out, but if you're doing Cold War, Eastern Bloc, then... So now you've done your research and you're ready to make your purchase. So you're going to want to find a good website that has the stuff that you want to buy. So look for a credible website that's not going to sell you crappy reproduction things. Alright, let's say for example you choose World War II. You're going to want to do a lot of research on the country you want to be portraying and the time in World War II you'll be portraying. I'm not a World War II YouTuber so I'm not the channel to go to but there's quite a few channels on YouTube and articles and websites to look at. And there's just a, large, a plethora of things to research and just get your knowledge down before you make your purchase. And then once you make your purchase, you want to go to a credible website or a credible source. Locally is always probably going to be your best option, but you might not always have that option. So then you're going to want to just look at different websites. We've already done a video on where to get your Eastern Bloc military, so you can go check those out. Those will be up in the corner here or here somewhere so yeah once we've once you've gone through all of that you can make your purchase and then just kinda slowly kinda build your kit it's not gonna go all at once unless you have enough money to buy an entire kit in one day that's that's something but you can just kinda slowly go at it and I'd say if you want, when you want to start, you want to start out probably with the base, so like the tunic, pants, things like that. Then uh, go to your belt, then your y belt and Y straps, and then the gear on the belt, and then all the little things after, and slowly keep going on from that, just to keep it so that 
you know all the things that you're getting together. And like your kid is gonna feel incomplete if you start with all the gear you need for the belt but not have it for the belt at all. So just think about those things. All right, thanks for watching, have a nice day. This might have been a shorter video, hopefully it helps you uh, start collecting. Hopefully you're gonna get into it or you're already into the, the hobby. So yeah, check out our Instagram, link is in the bio. You've probably already seen that. We are so also have a Discord for people who collect East German and VA uh, things. That's also in the bio, you, bio description to use to Instagram. Um, so yeah, check that out. Have a nice day.